Hi all, Aid from Rev Monkey here. Well, here we are, the second part of my Carrera GT series. I've now just picked this car up from Altafacina, who have done a fantastic job on the, all the internals, the engine, particularly the turbo and all around that part of the engine, and also the bodywork. It's now looking and running fantastic. So uh, what I'll do is, uh, with full transparency, I'll show you the full itemised bill. So you get an idea of what it takes to get a car like this, 42 years old, up to speed, so it runs impeccably. And of course, my grand scheme is to go in and out of my 25 favourite dream cars. I'll link below to that video. So this will have to go out for sale, and I'm already thinking, actually, it's so stunning, it's so incredibly rare, that in, in a way I'd love to keep it, but I just can't. So uh, without further ado, let's look into the servicing and the, the work involved to get this car up to this standard. Today's video is sponsored by Car Vertical. Now, I wouldn't buy a car without them. The reason being that Car Vertical perform a full due diligence check on the car. Their concise report allows you to make informed decision on whether or not to buy that car or to negotiate a better deal. The car may have been stolen, it may have been in accidents, it may have a history of things that are wrong with it, it might have a dodgy mileage. All these things come out in their report. It's remarkably good value for money, considering the money you'll be spending on the car purchase. Check out the link below, carvertical.com. Okay, this is the bill from Altafacina for the 94 Carrera GT. Don't panic, don't panic. Now, I was with them for several months. I took it immediately there from picking the car up. Um, at that moment, the car kind of drove well, apart from the fact it had no turbo. So it kind of felt like an 18-ton lorry with a one-litre engine. <laughs> so it was a bit of a struggle. But kind of, most things were okay. But overall, you could tell it needed a bit of love and attention. And it certainly got that. Old Vecina are specialists in repairing and finessing performance cars. They've also got a fabulous showroom, and at any time you ever get a chance to go to them, then you'll see a marvellous array of some excellent performance cars, new and old. So it reads like a story. So work carried out, carry out full check over and report. Turbo leaking and no boost. Okay, we knew that. Remove the airbox, remove intercooler. This is all to do with the turbo at the moment. Remove metering head, remove air filter housing, disconnect top of turbo from manifold, remove exhaust pipe, remove oil feed and drain lines, unbolt anti-roll bar, remove turbo, send turbo for specialist repair. Now that's all in getting the blooming turbo off. And while they're there, of course, it makes sense to replace all gaskets and seals. And then they refit the turbo. And it also is quite a big delay between getting that turbo back, which accounts for the majority of it. Resecure anti-roll bar, refit oil feed and drain lines, refit exhaust pipe, reconnect top of turbo to manifold, refit air mirror to housing, refit metering head intercooler and airbox, exhaust hanger bolts were missing. <laughs> but basically up to that point, really, that's all to do with the turbo, which is very important. Um, fit new bolts to exhaust hanger, great. Replace the fuel hoses to metering head, renew engine oil, replace oil filter. This is all labour, by the way. Investigate water ingress to boot. Didn't know about that. Check out drain holes or clear out. Windscreen trim fitted incorrectly. Fit windscreen trim. Marvellous. Replace reverse light bulb. Brilliant. Didn't notice it. Carry out anti corrosion treatment to subframe. Fabulous. Lubricate driver's door hinge. Yeah, it was squeaking. Battery loose and clamp missing. Fabricate new clamp for battery. That's pretty clever. Driver's seat loose on mounts. Didn't notice that. Remove seat. Remove carpet. Reweld floor to take inserts. Install rivet nuts. Paint floor. Refit carpet and driver's seat. So that's uh, quite an operation. Uh, handbrake not working and brakes corroded. I knew about the handbrake not working, so, so that's been sorted. I moved all four wheels, handbrake lever was not connected, fit handbrake lever spring. Push back pistons and all four calipers, remove all brake pads, clean pads and calipers, refit calipers and brake pads. I tell you, I, I probably could sing this. Adjust rear wheel bearings, offside front track rod end play, replace front track rod, well, get that right, place front track rod end. Refit all the wheels. Check and adjust tracking as a type. Brilliant. Top of all levels as required. Brilliant. Main fuel hose to pump has been perished. So replace the fuel hose. Brilliant. Fuel pickup pump was not connected. Weird. Reroute rise to pickup pump. Marvellous. Check operation. All okay. 
Vehicle holding idle revs up and not smooth to drive. So that needs sorted. Move the intercooler. Remove the auxiliary air valve and check operations, all okay. Check rubber hoses are retightened. Check cold start regulator, all okay. Remove throttle and clean. Remove injectors and clean. Replace spark plugs. Clean HT leads and distributor cap. Clean metering head plate. Refit the intercooler. Carry out vehicle tuning. Road test vehicle. Revs no longer holding. Yay! Carry out final adjustments as required. Well, that's the total labour. 39 hours of it. £120 an hour. 4680 quid. Right, moving on to the parts. Don't panic. Turbo rebuild. Well, that sounds all right. I thought it could be a lot worse. £750. It's all XVOT, by the way. You've probably jumped down to the bottom. A couple of O-rings. Six sealing rings. New oil filter. Engine oil. Five and a half litres. At £18.99 quid. The light bulb. The fuel holes I talked about. Fuel pipe. Track rod ends. Not too bad. Spark plugs. That's pretty reasonable. Rubber guard 28. Wax coat. Fuel sundries environmental protection charge 10 quid no idea what that is doesn't matter total parts one two three five adding on to the four six eighties five nine one five plus on top of that the painful vat total bill seven thousand and ninety eight now that's within my expectations when i bought the car and i thought i got it at a reasonable price i was expecting to pay somewhere between five and ten to make it all hunky dory and fit for some nice use on the road, get some great content, and hopefully sell it on at a later date. So there it is. A little bit painful if you're not expecting it. I wasn't expecting it, so it's not painful, but I'd rather not have paid it at all, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so uh, we'll do a little look over of the car, and uh, I'll show you a bit more about it. But the main review of the car, in anger, will be in a video coming up in two or three videos. If you want to see how the car actually performs, what it looks, sounds like, inside and out, in detail, and my real thoughts on this fabulously rare car, then make sure you subscribe. Yeah, okay, so, Alta Vicina have tidied up and repainted and retouched in all the elements that were slightly out of order on the front of the car. They took this all off here. And there was a bit of grazing, or grazing, a bit of glazing on there, which was unsightly, now perfected. And they corrected the glazing that was on there and touched up here and there as well. Now, lastly, I've got, I've got to do is get some blackening stuff for this part of the car and the rubber there and the rubber here and the rubber going around it, these wing mirrors which will replenish it and protect it as well as bring it up into a darker sort of hue which will match the car and set it off nicely similar to how people darken out the tyres which I'll also do talking of which, these are pretty old tyres it makes the car quite slippery new tyres would transform this car um, what I've got left to do myself apart from the colouring here is just give the inside a complete overhaul clean it just needs a really good, as you see here, it looks, I can't see it, you know, it just needs a really good kind of steam clean throughout. But you know, generally speaking, it's, a, it's in really, really amazing condition. But it could do with a nice steam clean. This looks a bit grubby. So uh, all in all, uh, I'll be quite happy. Thank you. Right, that's it. Make sure you've subscribed for more content on this car and others in my collection. And more importantly, the next video coming out on this one is my full drive review on it. Does it show it's 42 years of age? Is the turbo so old school that I'll grow a beard by the time the turbo kicks in? Is it comfortable? Is it somewhat fast? Was it a good buy? Goodbye. <laughs> on that note, yeah, goodbye. And uh, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, all helps in the algorithm as I grow the channel. See you next time. Drive safe out there.